That freaking medic's a spy. We got a spy. Untouchable.
I don't know how to feel about you saying banging. Oh, now the ad break is coming in? Whatever. Wow, that meeting? I'm letting it happen. I'm old, I'm allowed. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, don't snooze it. I was say, oh, did we already snooze it once? I didn't snooze once already. I've only got two snoozes left. Snoozle snoozles. Uh, let's see, Luna, Victoriana, Jero Wizard, Elise, Winner, Lily. Hey, Black, how you doing, buddy? Low key, Wild West Dan. I gotta get back to your message. I, I it's I. Uh, uh, Red Millie. How you doing, Millie? You doing all right? Hanging in there, friend. And Taco. All right, so there's an ad. So we're just going to hang out before I get into the meat and potatoes of everything that I wanted to talk about. And apparently I have left some meds in here. Why did I do that? Oh, I should take this one out and put it in front of me so that I know to take it. Oh, there's my friend. How are you, bud? You're doing much better. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that, Melly. So happy to hear that. Uh, been better. Hope you're doing all the better. Oh, Black, I'm so sorry, man. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm healing up. Uh, you know, the, the appendix surgery was, uh, nightmare fuel and, you know. Uh, goof. Good. I'm doing food. <laughs> Dan, I'm not going to shame you for that. But that gets weird. Uh, I am doing all right. Um, it was great spending time with my nephew. We finished uh building a uh lego chess set i introduced him to some mumbo videos that he enjoyed and then he showed me um some a video that i didn't like at all because it was geared towards his age group and i was not happy about it because <laughs> it's just that level of energy that exhaust me watching i think we all know the type of videos those are of hey kids oh stop just no no just super scripted I don't know how they do it. I don't. I mean, I would like to know where they get the energy. <sighs> okay. So my stomach is healing nicely. I'm still annoyed that they put the second belly button right at the crease where you sit. So that that's super frustrating and annoying. Are you ready, kids? I can't hear you. <laughs> Happy, happy, joy, joy. I get it. Uh, my, my brother-in-law has a giant, oh, I can't really sit up that much. Maybe I should just turn that down a little bit. Um, wait, is there an edge over here? There we go. Uh, yeah, he's got a, a, a whole like anchor on his chest because he had some pretty bad cancer.
I have a small one on the left side, one at the belly button, and then one underneath the belly button. Oh, that's... Everything still looks good. Nothing hurts really, except the hole. Eh. I've kind of stayed away from it. Um, I, I am curious to know. Okay. So. We, um. I want to show you guys this. So this is um this is what I wanted to talk about today. This part right here, the path to partner. 30 day performance. So last month we streamed almost twice the amount of hours that we need. I did stream 12 different days, but our average for the 46.9 hours, 36.88. Vadri! What up, friend? Hmm. curious about though is if I stream hold on I'm streaming four days a week and I'm averaging what five four hours if I start at 10 and I end at three that's five hours right so Five times four, 20 hours a week times three times four, really. So we're doing 80 hours a week and I need to average 75 viewers. How would I figure that? What's the math on that? If I'm doing 20 hours a week... Sounds like a spreadsheet, yeah. So, what what I'm looking at here is this path to partner, right? 78.5 viewers, and it goes based off how many hours I stream. I know, Joy likes this stuff, doesn't she? Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to figure out what the average is. Look at this. It says concurrent viewership excluding post raids and embeds. So this is solely based off of people that are here.
And we want to hit at least... At... So here's my thought, okay? What if... Because I get... I get emails... From... Uh... Twitch. If I can find one. Show, show it to you. Um... I get a stream summary and it tells me the average viewers and the path to partner. So if I start sharing those, if I start sharing those on Discord, is that a good idea to keep everybody apprised of what we're trying to accomplish? What up, JT? Because this is a new month. We, we, we can start fresh here. We have to do it. You're a loony. I don't think it's just 30 days, though, right? Thank you, Wild West. I appreciate that, dude. Isn't... Doesn't this need to be for like a couple months, right? Like three months or something? I just, I would, it just sucks, man. I, yeah, that's what I thought too. It needs to be for three months and that's, that's hard to do. And, uh, TwitchCon in San Diego is September 20th to the 22nd. April, May, June. So we have to start trying to do it now. Right? Yeah, if raiders refresh and they become part of the channel, it counts. But if it has the raid line in the in the URL, then it doesn't. So how, what can I do? What, what can I do to entice people to be here? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It partner never really was important, that important to me until after this last trip where I couldn't even go to the partner lounge with people that I was hanging out with. And I'm so excited that um, Blink Blink got um, partnership. Like, I'm really, really excited. But what also sucks is I still can't go. Like, they got partnered. I won't be able to go with them into the par partner lounge. Like, that just, that just sucks to hang out with all these people that I know. And, and then they're like, all right, we're going to go to the partner lounge. And I'm like blackballed from going in because I'm not partnered and I'm like the only one that's hanging out with them that isn't and I, I just don't want that to happen again
Dan, you were never partnered on Mixer? For some reason I thought you were. Oh, for real? Oh, that sucks, Dan. You know, I applied for partner here. Um, they said they were making a bunch of mixer partners, partners here, and uh, I didn't get it. And a bunch of other people did that didn't have the numbers that I had, and it really kind of bummed me out. Look, I'm, I'm looking for any way that we can keep people coming back. I, I know people are going to be here when they can. They're going to lurk. They're going to. And that's I absolutely love that. But I, I need to figure out how to keep the momentum. I feel like we keep losing momentum. Like it'll be good for like a week and then it starts to dip again. And I, I'm not really sure how to fix that. Or how to keep people apprised of it. You know? So if I just post in the Discord the summary of each stream so that we know as a group, right? What up, Lee? Huge hugs to you, my friend. Do is post to going live in an announcement channel in your Discord. Oh, that's cool, Dan. Yeah, I do. I should have one. Yeah, I've got one. I've got the Joker live. Yeah. Yeah, that one seems pretty accurate, too, because that one went that posted at 10, which is when I went live. So. Yeah, I have a, a Joker live announcement. Channel. Yeah. <sighs> Do I go back and promote that to following channels? I don't. I don't understand the question. Taco, I don't want to be that guy that's always using the everyone tag. Like I, I, I feel that using everyone Using the everyone tag in Discord loses its meaning. Like if I was to say, hey, this is really important. I'm hungry. It's not really important, you know? Oh, uh... Uh, hide it. Uh, missions. Yeah, boy cries wolf scenario, exactly. That's a great idea, Dan. That's a really good idea. 
So... I'd create a role called... I'm live? Or... I'll just call it live. That's also true, Grim. That is also true. Dan, you and me both, man. You and me both. I have some wonderful ideas, but I uh, I am really bad at implementation. Um. Okay, so if I do that and then go announcements, I'm going to add this role right now. Victoriana. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't, um, Um, I know a lot of people use uh, use the notifications from Twitch, but I don't know how often those actually work. So, um, yeah. Ron. <laughs> yeah, they're working on it, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're trying to hide it. The thing that could really help is if you were to talk my work about not bothering me when I'm trying to hang out. Uh, yeah, that'd be great. I, I, send them on over. Thanks, Mini Me. Yeah, I try to go Monday through Wednesday occasional Thursday and and Fridays um, Thursdays are typically reserved for me um, so that uh, what is this what am I doing uh Oh, I am. That's right. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing this. Okay. I think that's. This is such a great idea. Um... She was mad. Uh, yeah, I wish there was a magic formula as well. I just want, I want people to be able to support and help me grow without me being a nag about it. You know, like I know everybody wants to be here and I know life gets in the way and blah, 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 all that stuff. And I don't want people to apologize if they can't make it because you don't need to. I get it a hundred billion percent. I get it. It's, it's okay. I just want to let people know, hey, this is what I'm trying to achieve. This is where we're at. And every so often we need reminders of that kind of stuff, you know? Like I've got, I've got a picture. I know my wife loves me, but I have a picture of her and I from Mixer on a little uh, Polaroid with a little heart sticker on there that says you are loved that she wrote. So yeah, 
I have that right here on my desk. It's great. It reminds me because I need reminders. We all need reminders, but I don't want to nag and I don't want to use a ping that is a cry wolf kind of ping. So this is a great idea to add the live tag. Should I be putting the stats of the stream in the announcements page or somewhere else? What up, geeks? Oh, that's cool. Also, 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 uh, completely unrelated to this. I got two messages on Instagram, uh, for, from companies that want to send something for patches so that I do a photo shoot. Ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, geeks. Um, okay, so where should I... So here, for those of you coming in right now, this is what's going to happen. Because we want to try... I'm talking about trying to get partnered again. I haven't applied yet because we've never hit the 75 mark. We've come so close so many times, but I've never gone over 75 average. And the only times that I did get over the... seven Or get close to the 75 average was when I was doing the Friday Night Among Us and I was doing JITS. Both of those together helped me get to that number, but I'm not getting there now. So, um, yeah. I might have to tap into some friends and say, hey, Like, I think I might need to reach out to the JITS group and say, hey, look, uh, this I don't want what happened last year at TwitchCon to happen again where I couldn't go with them to the partner lounge. So I might I might ask for their help a little bit. Yeah, I don't I don't like doing it. I don't I don't I don't. I would love more JITS streams. I just, they're deep into the Hermitcraft world right now, and I, I just don't, I'm not going to be pushy about it, you know? I don't, I don't think I have a lot to offer for them. I know that's, that, that, that's mean to me. What up, kids? Yeah, I think so too, Dan. Uh, I think a lot of you would disagree as well. Um, I, I and I appreciate that, but I, I don't think I have that much to offer or to bring to the table. You can't fight me. You you can barely breathe right now, <laughs> Shorty, Shorty McPoopy Head. Robin, I I think this was on stream. When I think so, I, I was trying to explain to my nephew Siblet and he didn't quite understand because I didn't think it was my place to explain they them to him since I'm not the parent and he's eight. That's for my sister and brother in law to do. So I hope I I did did right by you on that one, but it, it's been floating in my head. Uh, 
miniature Randy. Um, I did great. Oh, thank you. Um, so that is a great question. I started streaming by sitting on my couch with a wireless keyboard and mouse using a using a I had no camera and I was using a Guitar Hero USB mic and it worked perfectly. In fact, I still have it and it still works amazing. Um Next Mr. Joker upside your dumb head. You're worthy. You bring a lot to the table. Don't tell yourself negative things that aren't true. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do, Rim. Um, it doesn't matter how you start, but don't push yourself and do it for the right reasons. Don't do it because you think you're going to make it big or make money. Do it because it's fun and you want to make new friends. Um, play what you like. Do what you want. Uh, be respectful of others and I want to start a stream right now. I don't know how to create a stream. Well, you need a program to do it. So, uh, yeah, I get, I get the imposter syndrome often. Um, I, I occasionally feel like. So Boke, I, I occasionally feel, especially with these guys that, you know, are are busy and they're 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 putting in the work, you know, doing all this great stuff. I tend to feel like I'm that kid who wants to hang with the cool kids, who's like, hey, hey, what are you guys doing this weekend? Oh, you know, we're just uh we're just gonna be hanging out. Oh, oh, cool, cool, cool. Hey, get can I, can I hang out with you guys? Are you guys, is that cool? Uh, yeah, you know, we're just going to be doing this and this. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm not doing anything this weekend. So if you guys want to hang out, you know, I, I don't want to be that kid. That's just so eager, but I think I am. And I know they're busy and I know they've got all these friends and it, that they play with regularly. And, and it's just, it's, I want to be cool too. Yeah, I think I still have the stream tools channel in there. I think so. Aw, thanks Robin. It is so much time, Dan. I don't have it open. Otherwise, I would show you guys. But I record probably three to four hours of footage of Minecraft and I edit it down to 20 minutes. I've taken already. I, I, I look at it and I had like an hour and a half of footage and I got it down to five minutes. Too much love. Must resort back to violent behavior. <laughs> yeah, I, I think YouTube shorts and um, TikTok would be the best way to go. My problem is uh, having the time to edit those, uh, go through my streams and actually find clips and make those clips. It's it, that's the time consuming part because I stream, you know, four hours at least and going through all of that footage to get 30 second clips or two minute clips to put on those sites. It's, it's a lot. Yeah, kids, the other, the other thing is to record while streaming. Um, and if I can make a button, if, if I, find the time to set up a button that turns the camera off, turns off alerts and sets it up. So it's just 
plain, you know, footage with no background noise or alerts showing up, then I could do quick recording and cut back to just streaming, right? But the thing is that when I when I'm recording and doing stuff, I don't know what's going to happen. So that's why I record huge stints. Yeah, like what Joe Hill does, yeah. You know, here's the thing, Grim. Here's... This is something that... Um, this is something that I've done now for probably over a year. Uh, I reach out to different people uh, just to stay in contact. Um, like I've reached out to Etho, uh, every so often, every few months, I'll reach out and say, Hey, how's it going? How you doing? You know, and just stay in contact with him. Uh, I've tried to do the same with Scar, but I know he's super busy. So occasionally, um, I, uh, I, I get, uh, I'll talk with him very rarely. Uh, I've wow, that many? had the luck of being able to reach out to um who was it who was it oh um it was uh zedaf i was able to talk to him briefly which was super cool um i uh i've actually had conversations with b dubs which is amazing i can reach out to him and get something back immediately um So that's been super cool. Um, I like I I reach out just to check in and say hi with some of these bigger ones. So it's it's that I'm not forgotten about. I guess. Thank you, Ginja. You need to learn to see the future so you know what's gonna happen. Exactly, JT. I need to work on that. Tell Etho you say hi next time. All right. <laughs> sure thing, Dan. Um. But, you know, I'll, I'll check in with some people like uh, I've tried checking in with Pearl and um, uh, Cleo and um, Gemini. But unfortunately, Gemini. Wait, are we the same? Are we friends? Now? Did she add me as a friend? I think she did. Wait, did she? Hold on a second. Oh, cool. Gemini did add me. We're friends. I didn't even notice. Sweet. I can actually talk to them now. <laughs> yeah. Gem is great. Uh, my wife, I I've been introducing her to Hermitcraft videos, and we've been watching them together, and um, She's real. She really loves Gemini. Like she just thinks she's the cutest thing, and she enjoys watching her. It's so it's so great. See your friends, and there's you putting yourself down. Yeah. Well, look. Um, the real life series yet today? What? Does Gem play Don't Starve? It's a VR last life. It's funny. Oh, before I forget, where should the announcements of the stats of this channel go? Because again, to recap, I want to get partnered. It's going to take a lot of work from all of us. We need to have, we need to hit a higher average of 75. And so I'm going to put the stats from each stream in the announcements channel, I guess. So that we can see what needs to happen.
A new stats channel. I've got so many channels already, kids. Yeah, that's the thing, Geeks, is I don't I don't want to abuse friendships and say and and use people like that. Like I'll, I'll ask them for suggestions, but like I've got a big idea. I've got a really big idea for this next video that is going to take a lot of work to edit. It's huge. It's a huge idea that I think is going to pay off. I think it's going to pay off for the one minute length, but the amount of work going into it is going to be big. It's going to be big, but it's going to be a new way. It's it's going to be a very, very new, very fresh look at time lapse that I don't think I have seen anyone do. What I've been seeing a lot of on these uh, from the hermits are time lapses and they talk over it. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of those. I've been seeing um, I've seen a lot of different types of of time lapses. Uh, there's a guy named uh, Francis John, and I think he's great. And I absolutely love watching his stuff, uh, especially the oxygen not included stuff. He's fantastic. When he does his time lapses, it's very short increments of like a little build, a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And I think I did that. I think I did that on one of my videos recently. Big Grumpy Monk. Lurk away, friend. Same with you, Peanut. It's always nice to see your name coming into Lurk, bud. I think I've seen Ethos time lapses. I'm. I've realized that I watch so much television, so much, so many series and movies and animation, and I've got so much burned into my head that I'm breaking apart movies and shows analytically as a cinema fiend you know like oh this works this works they should have done that Hi, this editing is bad I'm gonna leave the stream on while i work but great to see you oh thanks crafty it's great to see you too friend enjoy your work i will be here i'm not going anywhere I'm stuck <laughs> um so taking all that knowledge i want to put that into my edits and start bringing in hence why the beginning of my videos are now this like movie intro style, right? And looking at how B Dubs does his, and I've talked to him about it, it's very, very inspiring. Like it's really, really cool how he does it. Um, it's just so cinema graphic, cinema cinematographically amazing. I want to bring more letterboard style in as well. Like I want to slowly bring the the black lines in and do cinema style and and yeah, it's the difficulty is getting figuring out how to use freecam, how to use replay mod. I know how to use them, but how to use them effectively and if efficiency efficiency is key and it's such a massive pain in the butt. Just, oh, so horrible. Yeah, they're the worst. The replay mods controls are the absolute worst. Uh, I might have done that too, winner. 
Uh, Dan, I've had that same problem. What I've done was I figured out how to copy and paste, how to save, but it's such, it's so far and few between when I use the replay mod that I tend to forget a lot of stuff. And this next one, like I said, is going to be, it's going to be big. I think it's big and I'm, I'm excited about it. And I'm actually thinking I might share it with B dubs to get his opinion just because of how he does his edits. Um, this, it's such a big deal to me that I'm, I'm really excited. There's a few things that I've done that I'm excited about. Now I have another idea. I got to write it down. Um, Yeah, that'll be good. That's a good idea. I'll save that. Sorry. I, I, I have to write these editing ideas down. Okay. Your tag be a thing? It is, right? trying to I'm, I'm writing a, a post for uh, discord here um, I'm letting everyone know about the live tag the um, how I'm gonna post the stats from each stream um, uh, as an FYI uh, let's see uh, current viewership Excludes posts, raids, and embeds for raids to actually count. Um, make sure to. How does it work? They like what is the the key ingredient here for what, that we need to make sure to tell people? Like, what is the absolute best way for people when they come in from a raid to click and go, hey? This is this now I'm part of the channel and part of the numbers. What's the easiest way for that? Click your logo beneath the streams. Okay, click the logo. Click. Beneath. Okay. Yeah, how does that work on, on mobile? Because I know a lot of people are on mobile. That makes it difficult, doesn't it? Oh, oh, right. Click on the video. Uh, with subscribe button and description. All right, I'm just going to leave that 
I'll leave the mobile part off. We'll see how that works. Uh, okay, so this is what I'm writing. Hi everyone, this should be the last time I have to use this tag. I'm planning on using the new live tag to let everyone know that I'm streaming. I'll also be posting stats from each stream in the announcements here, which is another tag. If you want to have the live tag and know when I'm live and help support the goal of getting to partner, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, just react to this post with, uh, uh, with my logo emote. Um, as an FYI, concurrent viewership excludes post raids and embeds. Uh, helps if I spell excludes right. For raids to actually count, make sure to click my logo beneath my stream to join official numbers. Um, uh, oh, this ought to be good. What up, Strange? I need your attention. Uh, no, I don't know where they are. Read it out. It out. There, I read it. Nobody said anything. I got this. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. The word. Okay, so read out the word. I said the word. What am I missing here? No, don't read that one. Okay. Uh, the word colon. That's that's a colon. You want me to say the word colon? Are you a doctor? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm clearly missing something here. Like the word colon J O H. Those are letters. That's not a word. I mean, you've got my attention. You asked for my attention. I'm giving it to you, but I don't under just spell out and pronounce the word colon J O H the word T H E W O R D colon J O H the word colon J O H Jojo Jo. Joe minus Joe plus O. Well, that just makes, that's just O. J-O minus J-O becomes zero. And then O. Joe, Joe, O. Why are you talking about your mom? Is something oh is something okay with your mom? Is your mom sick? You gonna see your mom for dinner tonight? Oh, that's awesome. I need to call my mom back. She texted to see how I was doing. That's really cute that this guy thinks he's he got me. You guys all realize that I just trolled him, right? Yeah, he left. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know that he just got trolled. You got trolled so hard, man. You're such an idiot. <laughs> that was so funny. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for uh, joining the party and um, becoming my first troll of the day. That was so much fun. I haven't had that much fun in a while. I do love trolling people and um, you know, it's been, it's been tough not being on Mixer with blueberries. This kid. I gotcha! This kid, man. Hold on. That kid was more like... Oh, I 
I got you. Oh, we got him, guys. We got him. We got him to save your mama. <laughs> Look at me. I trolled him. I mean, I had to step him through how to say the word and how to spell it. And he kept spelling it like a noob. But we got there. Oh, uh, we got there, man. I got him. I'm the best. I'm so good. My wife gave me the ultimate quote to describe myself. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's being annoying. And I stand by that. And I would love that to be on my gravestone. I'm the best. And the best at it. Oh, that really warmed my heart. I got to tell you, this kid coming in here, that just made my day. It did. The fact that their little, their quick little, can I have your attention? Say this. And then it, <laughs> that could have been so quick. They had, hey streamer, I need your attention. May I have your attention? Do you know where is that, right? And then it's Joe, and then I say Joe, and they go Joe mama, and then I got you. That's how quick it should have been. But instead, I dragged it out and made them step through all the levels. Oh. Warms my heart. Yeah, could you? Could someone uh, timestamp that or something? Because that'd be great. Your nerf collection? Taco. Taco. Your nerf collection? I have. Please say hi back. What up, Pearly? <laughs> uh, uh, I know, Genja. You got me good. Oh, that was great. Uh... I've told you guys how I I've messed with uh You guys know that I used to used to do um Lego uh after I used to be a teacher. Like an after school program teacher. Not officially like you know all the documentation to be a teacher, but I I did um I did uh uh, after school programs. Uh, I taught chess. I, I used Legos to teach engineering and physics and it was great for a little bit until I got really annoyed because they were they were annoying. But some of my best moments was messing with these kids. That was so much fun for me. You guys have no idea how much joy I get out of messing with children's heads and brains like it sounds wrong. But it's really funny. Lorex, I'm doing all right, friend. One of my favorite moments messing with a kid. So let me paint this picture for you because you guys know I love telling stories. Um, one of my favorite things. Uh, hold on, let me make sure that. Oh, I need to not open that one. I'm opening uh, the create mod. Um, yeah, there's probably another ad. Um, 
So during the summer, we would have these summer camps uh, for for what I for the stuff that I taught, right? And um, for the, the the summer camps using Legos to teach engineering and physics. So one of the there'd be two classes, sometimes three, but there'd be two classes and there'd be a lunch in the middle. And when we'd have lunch or a break, the kids weren't allowed to play with the Legos. They were allowed to read books or use some of the puzzles. And I don't know if you guys have seen this, but there are these uh, puzzle balls that have like a little marble and a maze and you have to move it around and stuff like that, right? So I'm sitting there in the break room with the kids and one of the kids, now the kids range from anywhere between five to 11. And what I learned was that kids start to understand sarcasm at the age of nine, at the earliest. At the latest, they start to learn it at 11 or 12, okay? So, sitting in, the, in this break room with the kids, because it's lunchtime or a small break time, one of the kids uh, gets up. Now, I, I had a few kids here. Uh, one, his dad was super sarcastic all the time, so this kid knew it. And he'd been in the class a number of times already, so I knew him. He was a great kid. So I'm sitting there. This one kid comes over and he goes, "Hey, can I, can I get um, one of the one of the, the things to do?" I was like, well, I, "I don't know what you're talking about. What what thing?" So you know that, and he's doing this with the hands, right? So you know the thing to do the. And I look and I was like, "I, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. What what is this?" So, you know, the, the ball, the, with the thing, it, you know, and I go, ah. and I'm looking at the other kids. It's like, how does it go? One more time. It's all, it goes like this. I was like, oh man, I, I feel like I might know what that is, but can you show me one more time? And he does it again and he's getting frustrated. And I, I'm just sitting there looking really confused. And I look at the kid who knows sarcasm. I look at him. And he looks at me, he goes, should he do it one more time? I was like, I think so. And he goes, so he looks, so could you do it one more time? And the kid goes, oh, fine. I'll just go get it and show you. And he leaves, <laughs> comes back, he's all this. I was like, oh, well, why didn't you say that? But when he left, the one kid standing there, he goes, you were messing with him, right? I was like, oh, totally. He's like, all right. I was like, good call, man. <laughs> like, it was so good. 